Hi everyone, so today we have a special guest on the channel. We have Shaurya with us. So Shaurya, would you like to introduce yourself once? Yes, hello Ashish. So thank you so much for this opportunity. Uh, so hello everyone. Uh, my name is Shaurya Sakanda and I'm a B.Tech final year student at VIT Bhopal University. And I have recently cracked Infosys as a specialist programmer with a 9.5 LPA CTC. So this was a brief mm -hmm. about me. Right, right. So we'll be getting to know his journey, his interview experience with Infosys as a specialist programmer, how he prepared and everything in between. So Shaurya, start us off with your interview experience, like how was how many rounds were, how did it go? Yeah, so uh, starting with my whole experience. Mm -hmm. So talking about the online assessment, uh, it had three questions and we had mm -hmm. three hours of time. Uh, so the questions, uh, like honestly speaking, the questions was really tough. Uh, there were <laughs> questions which required like uh, like hard level of lead code DSA problems Damn. and questions were mainly on trees, graph, like DP, all these mm. three, three topics. The toughest were topics. Yes, yes. They asked the toughest topics and I was able to solve, uh, I think two and a half questions I was able to so solve because mm -hmm. uh, I have seen that if you solve one one point uh, one point five question then you receive an interview call but i uh, i was in a safe spot that i was able to solve two and a half questions mm. so after that uh, uh, we received another mail that i have been short like me and some of my college mm. mates have been shortlisted in the second round and we were given a survey form uh, from infosys that we have to choose mm -hmm. uh, Enforces DC uh, so that mm -hmm. we we were having a face to face interview in that. So after filling the survey form, we got the mail. Like I chose uh, Enforces Chandigarh, uh, where I had a face to face interview, and my interview was scheduled on fourth of October. Hmm. So now talking about like the whole uh, face to face interview experience. Uh, when I reached the campus, I saw that interviews are going in both the modes, online mode also and offline modes also. Oh, mm. uh, so, but uh, uh, I got the chance to give an offline interview, which is a face-to-face -face interview. And I was, mm -hmm. I think I was lucky in that because uh, in the online mode, I was not able to express like how mm. I do things. You know? Right. So I think face-to-face -face interview have this edge, like you can explain the interview, like what are your views in that. So uh, when I entered the room, the interviewer was very kind and very helpful. So he gave me a pen and paper and I gave my introduction and then he gave me a, a DSA problem. So mm. uh, the DSA problem was like easier than the online assessment. It was not very tough, but it was uh, like medium lead code level. It was uh, related to a greedy, greedy search, I think. So. I think, yes, greedy was the okay. problem I was given. I don't remember the exact question, but uh, this was the problem because, uh, and also a linked list problem was also given okay. to me. So uh, he told me to write the whole code, my approach and the time complexity and the whole code. So okay. I like, I tackled both the problems and after that he was satisfied with, with my approach, time complexity, we had a deep a conversation hmm. on the time complexity, space complexity. So after that, uh, he went on to my resume. And uh, in the resume, uh, he touched all the core concept because I have mentioned that like, I'm uh, like proficient in uh, the core uh, hmm. CS subjects. Yeah. So in that, he asked me questions about OS fundamentals, like what are semaphores, what are binary semaphores, these all questions. Uh, what is paging difference between paging segmentations and questions on uh, like uh, oops concept constructor destructure and also he uh, gave me a sql query to solve like it was related to some uh, nth salary something oh. so these are the topics he asked me in uh, my cs fundamentals so after that we had a, a deep talk about uh, my projects my main tech stack is uh, uh, is related to uh, is a full stack only like uh, mm. my like i do like react and angular i use these two uh, frameworks and i use node.js as a backend like backend thing so mm -hmm. uh, yes mm -hmm. and after that 
like after talking about my projects he was really impressed by my projects because i i have made like user centric and real life con- uh, projects in which uh-huh. like i am facing some problems so he was really impressed with that and after that like uh, we had some general questions like what are your future goals and all these things and then uh, he was really happy with that and then he told me to yes go and i went out Mm-hmm. so this yes. was the uh, final round or was there any hr or managerial round after that uh, no there was this is the this was the final round only there was no round after that mm-hmm. yes right and just to reiterate one thing that you know shorya said about uh, the project it is very essential you know that you make your project user centric you make it as realistic as possible you know i see a lot of people just make it to you know for the sake of making it but you should not do it like that you should try to solve a real life problem make it as realistic as possible and that is something that really impresses the interviewer you know once you go into the interview that is something that will really put a good discussion with you in the interview so sure like you said the oa of infosys and even i've heard the same thing that infosys oa is pretty tough you know they ask the toughest of topic they have lead code hard questions dp graph trees so obviously if you are able to solve two and a half questions you have good level of dsa we can say so how did you prepare dsa you know what was your preparation strategy like how did you you know prepare for this uh yes i started my dsa journey in the second year itself uh, mm-hmm. i was doing some uh, lead code questions daily i was like able to solve uh, two to three questions daily like they were easy level in the starting and then i was able to touch the medium level also hmm. uh, i also had uh, some courses like paid courses because okay. uh, the main thing uh, in dsa is you have to maintain the consistency you have yeah, to like right. solve each and every question like day by day so uh, eventually you will like it will show progress hmm. so uh, i used uh, apna college like shraddha ma'am's uh, course and after that uh there was uh ha huh. in my college also i had a uh, interview preparation like some uh, we had these courses so mm-hmm. my college was also very helpful in that and uh, yes these are the things i did for my mm-hmm. interview preparation right right and you know like for a lot of people they have this issue that easy problem they are able to solve even some medium problem they're able to solve but as soon as the difficulty increases you know they're not able to solve problems they have some difficulty and they look at the solution they look at the discuss section and they you know mark it as done but again if the same question comes in the interview or comes in a contest they're yes. not able to tackle it so what would you say for that like how would you manage that yeah this is the problem every each and every student like me and everyone is face was facing in my college also so uh, the first uh, answer to this is that if you are not able to solve the question you can have a look at the solution at once because some questions are like really tough they are just easy level but they are tough there are some algorithms there are some uh, technicalities in the questions so you can have a look at the solution and uh, keep a note of everything like you can uh, what you can do is uh, you can maintain a notebook for all the notes you can step by step you can write everything like what is your approach what was your first approach then you can uh, also write like what was the first code you thought and then you can write the optimized code for that so maintaining a notebook like is very essential when you are doing dsa hmm right correct a lot of people think that you know dsa you don't need to make notes it's all about problem solving but the truth of it there is some theory there are some concepts conceptual things and if you make notes it will be all for the better you know it will be easier to revise and things like that so even i i recommend note making for dsa as a pretty much a must thing right all right and uh, you know like even apart from dsa you had made some projects there were sql queries there were cs fundamentals all of these things were there so did you follow any particular resources for that or this normally with the college studies and are you will able to cope with that uh yes college was uh, helpful in the cs fundamentals but uh, what the main thing is the questions which are asked in the interviews are not very in depth hmm. so uh, in interviews they mainly ask you definitions and they don't get in so much of depth of the subjects so what you can do is you can follow one shot videos there are many one shot videos on youtube of famous youtubers of like 
uh, I remember I used to watch one shot videos before the interview mm. nights because I was also like giving interviews of other companies also. So for every uh, subject, they have a one shot video and you can also make notes for them also. Like I used to maintain one mo- notebook for all the CS su- uh, subjects. Mm. I used to divide the notebook and I have written every everything on that notebook only. And if mm. after an interview, I feel that these questions are asked like uh, many times, I used to mark them with some red or something so that these are many important points. Mm. Right, right. And this should... All right. So I guess we've discussed enough about the interview experience and the preparation. So you know, on a final note, to all of the people who are, say, going for Infosys interview or a company similar to that, what advice would you like to give them? Uh, yes, one advice I would give, like, if someone from my college or any fresher is watching mm-hmm. this, uh, first of all, uh, you can you have to maintain your CGP in your college. That mm-hmm. is the first part. Uh, if you are planning for these like placement journey, uh, maintaining a CGP is very important. Mm. Uh, secondly, uh, be consistent while you are learning DSA. Like mm. I have been in th- in this situation that I have learned DSA for like four months. Then I had a break. We had our project or we had our college pressure, college exams, and then I I have to restart again the whole process, mm. like learning right. process. So. Uh, be consistent like if you have exam also try to spend some time do something so that you don't forget anything and you don't have to restart again and uh, yeah so third advice i would like to give is uh, make projects which are which you feel are user centric hmm. and solving which you feel a real world could, problem yeah solving a real world problem which 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 you can feel that it will solve a big problem also hmm. so it could be related to any fields you can like go out like watch something like uh, farmers are facing some issues you can hmm. make a project on that if you're going in a metro like uh, one project i would like to talk i had a, a metro route and fare calculator so that was built on like java concepts hash maps and all hmm. so this was one of my project so you can explore the things so this is like uh, three hmm. to three uh, tips i would like to give a fresher hmm. nice nice so that's a wonderful advice right there so pretty much you've covered everything about infosys interview experiences journey and these amazing tips if anyone still wants more tips or you know wants to gain more insight about in- infosys interview then i'll give a short as linkedin in the description you guys can connect with him from there follow him from there so thanks a lot, Shara, for coming on my channel, sharing your interview experience. I hope this will help a lot of students. So yeah, thank you. Thank you so much, Ashish, for having me on this channel and uh, looking forward for more interviews like that.